Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use MIDI apps on your iPhone to control Ableton Live. More specifically, I'm going to show you how to connect your iOS device to your Mac computer, both using a cable and also using Wi-Fi MIDI. So let's get right into it. All right, first let's do it the simple way, which is just using a standard USB cable that came with your phone. I'm using an iPhone 6 here, so I have a lightning port, but on your phone it may be a different one. But effectively, just use the cable that came with it and connect it via USB. Then on the phone side, you don't have to do anything. So let's jump over to the computer here. All right, so first you wanna launch this app called Audio MIDI Setup, which comes with the operating system. So when it loads, you might not see this exact window, but under the window option at the top, you can just open audio devices first. Then you should see your phone show up here. So what you wanna do first is just click enable so that it enables it for pairing. All right, next let's go to Ableton Live and open our preferences. You can do that by hitting command comma or just going to the live menu and hitting preferences. So you wanna to go to the MIDI settings and make sure that iPhone is enabled for tracking and remote or more specifically the input. So next you wanna go in ribbon, specifically you go to the settings here and then under the MIDI settings, you wanna make sure you select the IDAM MIDI host, which stands for Inner Device Audio MIDI, which is the Apple technology. And I should mention that this specific technology only works for iOS 11, so make sure you upgrade to that operating system if you haven't already. And again, if you're using another MIDI controller, there's probably a similar kind of menu where you select your MIDI output preferences. So at this point, we're ready to treat this just like a standard MIDI controller. So in Ableton Live, you can effectively map any parameter to a MIDI controller. And you can do that via the MIDI map setting which is this button at the top here, or you can press Command M, which is the shortcut to enable that. For MIDI mapping ribbon to Ableton Live, I find it helpful to turn off all the looping because when you do MIDI mapping, it's gonna wait for you to send a CC signal from MIDI and you don't want things to be looping because that'll falsely trigger the thing you wanna assign. So what you wanna do is just assign unique CC numbers and the numbers don't really matter as long as they're unique per ribbon. So what you do in Ableton Live is, like I said, you can do Command M to turn on MIDI mapping. And at this point, you just select the parameter you want to assign. So for example, let's say I wanna assign cutoff frequency from this synth here. I just click on that once, and now it's waiting for me to send it a CC value for MIDI, which will assign that to that particular parameter. So for example, I can move my first ribbon here, and you can see on top here tells you the channel and CC number that got assigned to that fader here. So now I can just get out of MIDI map mode. And now if I move this, if you can see in Ableton Live here, I'm controlling the frequency. All right, the other way you can pair your device is via Wi-Fi. And there's kind of a couple of ways to do this here. You can either connect directly to your home Wi-Fi network, but I found that to be not very reliable. So the other way you can do it is that you host a hotspot from your laptop and then you use your iPad or iPhone to connect directly via that. And the disadvantage there is that you lose the ability to use the internet on your device. All right, so what you wanna do on your Mac first is just do create network here. And then you can call this whatever you want. Uh, the channel probably doesn't matter too much. So just hit create. All right, next on your iPad or iDevice, you should see that device show up here. So just click that in your Wi-Fi settings. It says you're not gonna be connected to the internet, but we know that and we don't need the internet. So we're just gonna connect. All right, so once that connection is established, again, you wanna go to the MIDI settings in that audio MIDI app on your Mac. But this time, instead of going to the audio and enabling the device, since we don't have it connected here, what you wanna go is go to the network settings here. And then you should see your device show up here. So just click on it and hit connect. All right, we should be good to go. So I'm gonna to go to Ableton Live and go to the preferences again, again in the MIDI settings. This time we wanna use the network session one. And again, make sure the input is tracking and remote is on as well. And then in ribbon, similarly, you wanna to go to your MIDI settings and make sure session one is connected. And then at this point, this is connected via Wi-Fi, so it's wireless. So you can have your laptop tucked away somewhere and just have this on your lap or next to your stand and kind of just control the eight different parameters, either having them loop and record your gesture or as static controllers. And I'm obviously <laughs> plugging my own app here, but obviously all this tutorial that I was talking about in terms of syncing with Ableton Live, in terms of connecting MIDI, should work with any iOS app that supports MIDI output. Hopefully you found this interesting and I'll see you guys in the next one.